Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Neverwinter Nights 2, Mysteries of Westgate. Last episode, we, uh... Well, we completed a little more of the main quest and happened to move through, uh, a side quest that we happened to find. Which brought us out into this particular area. Which I can't remember the name of. Undercity? Something like that. Well, we can look through here, so let's do just that. Oh, bladelings and trolls and great. Someone I know. In you know, gate, it's not wise to talk to strangers. Oh, now we can see the whole area. Exit to Harbor Loop, Durgar Quarter, Kajil's Portal, Exit to Market Triangle, Exit to Arena District, Dro Merchant, The Dark Lady's Promise. Okay, let's start looking through this place. This one doesn't have a name. This is just a door. A door that leads to a locked chest. If you don't if mind, you need something Renard, looted, I'm your woman. No, I don't need anything looted right now. But I do need this lock picked. Need a specific now. key for that object. Okay then. This seems to happen a lot. Leads to the harbor loop, which we will need to go through. Commoners, get Yankees. That's a big person. Okay, we're not going to go to the harbor loop right now. A rock that we can investigate. This pile of heavy rocks blocks an old sewer entrance. Okay. This door appears to be locked. The Durgar Quarter. Absolutely. Can we go into the Durgar Quarter? The answer yes. is no, we cannot go into what the Durgar it? Quarter. Ah, has another hairy one come to see my potions? How did you learn to brew potions? I was once a shaman among my people, until the time of the sickness. The great lizard struck our tribe down, and I was forced to find refuge among the hairy ones. You were a shaman, and yet you couldn't heal the sickness? Even I can heal only what the gods allow. If the great lizard wishes to smite his people, then I must bow before his will. How did you escape the sickness? I know not. I can only surmise that I was one of his holy ones, and so the great lizard spared me. Why did you settle in Westgate? It was close, and the hairy ones here allow us to live in relative peace with them. Alright, let's see your potions. Okay, bear skin, bear's endurance, bull strength, cat's face, death armor, and lore. Well, that's some potions. Sell that, please. Let's see what's out here. Okay, there's a couple doors. A barricade. A large pile of junk is stacked against the wall. Interesting. I do like the design of this place. I wonder what happens if we, uh, bash this barricade down. Hmm, I'm gonna save before I try this. I know, five minutes in and I already- oh wait, I can't bash it down. Oh well! I was gonna say, five minutes in and already I'm saving, haha. <laughs> okay, what is this one in the middle? Kajil. See who this Kajil is. A Dao genie. Oh, look! Another fleshy city dweller wishes to sample the depraved delights of the one and only Kajils. Do me a favor and tie his tentacle to a ship's anchor, will you? An overgrown squid deserves to be at the bottom of the harbor. Overgrown squid? You mean Kajil? Who else? The self-styled master of Undergate, the old slime face himself. At least I think it's a he. You can never be sure with those things, you know. 
undergate. That's what it's called for. Who are you? Oh, the who isn't important. What I am is a most noble Dao genie, humiliatingly reduced to the role of simple entry guard for that damnable Kajil. I should have known better than to make a bet with a scion. What bet? I had too much to drink one night, challenged Kajil to a game of cards. The stakes? The tavern itself, if I won, a hundred years of servitude if I lost. Never play cards with a being that can read your mind. You'll always come out worse. Noted. I need to enter Kajil's. Hand over the token, then. Nobody gets access to Kajil's without the proper token. He likes to choose his clients wisely, you see. He doesn't want the wrong kind of person getting in. Or rather, the right kind of person. I don't have a token. Oh, you must have misplaced it. Is that right? Oh, don't worry. I'll open the portal for you anyway. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, that's the best fun I've had all ten day. No token, no entry. I'm bound to obey that rule. Much as I'd love to break it. Part of the bet, you see. Very well, I'll return when I have the token. I mean, I don't have any need to go to Kajil right now, but... Eh. Alright. Commoner, commoner, ogre. Commoner, troll. Shove off! He not want to talk to me. See. That door is locked. I have a feeling we can't open it. This leads to a strange mirror. This mirror produces a reflection like any other with one startling difference. When you look into its shiny surface, the face you see looking back at you is a formless blur. Interesting. This door is likely locked, is it not? Absolutely. If you try to unlock it, you'll just be told there's no key. Yep. I am certain. And yet it seems to go to something. Portal to the market triangle. Oh good, you can get over it. A statue here, interesting. This stone statue depicts a pious monk holding his hands aloft. Okay, simple enough. Shady Huckster. Psst! Hey! Hey, you! Yeah, you! I got something unique for you at a real good price. Interested? What have you got? This here's a cloak, man, but this isn't a normal cloak. Oh, no! This here cloak will turn you invisible! And get this. It's yours for only a thousand gold. Praise? Uh, not interested. You're lost, man. Yeah, I'm not falling for that again. Okay. That goes to the arena district. Drow merchant. Well, now, a new customer. Reps and Elliston at your service, sir. Ah, there's a certain excitement that only comes when making your first transaction with someone you've never met before. Oh, God's willing, this will be the first of many transactions between us. Watch your coin purse with this one, Alloweth. What was that, my dear? Are you suggesting I would be anything but forthright in my dealings with your friend? Do you have some prejudice against me, or... Or do you know me from somewhere? Yes, your face looks familiar. We did business once in the past. Certain difficult-to-move items sold on behalf of a rather, rather well-known criminal organization. What are you suggesting about my wife, sir? Oh, I didn't mean to give offense, sir. I was just commenting on a similarity. I didn't mean to suggest your wife was actually the criminal I referred to. I hope you'll take no further offense when I note that one doesn't often see a husband and wife here in Undergate. It tends to attract more... solitary visitors. We get that a lot, don't we, darling? Lean over and kiss her gently. I... why, yes, um, darling, I mean... Oh, I see your lovely bride is shy and gentle of spirit. The disposition of surface females never ceases to amaze and intrigue me. You are a very lucky man, sir. Uh, thanks for coming to my defense, um, darling. Hiya, dear. No, how can I help you, sir? Ah, uh, let me see what you have. Black cowled robe, cloak of arachnida, great worm gauntlets. What do they do? Lower dexterity, higher attack bonus. No, thank you. 
Gym closed boots. Bonus feet dash. Lower saving throw. Umber Hulk hide breastplate. That's actually fairly good. And the heavy shield? Also fairly good. Weapons. He's got a few. Nothing I need. A few scrolls and potions. Beholder ring sleep. Interesting. And here we have... Okay, we do need one of these. Magic bag is minus 60. Magic pouch is minus 20. And this is a lesser magic bag, which is minus 40. You know what? We'll get the magic bag. There. Then... These, which are probably heavier, are gonna go into here. This one is going to have all of our other potions. There, that works. Alright, thank you for your time. Now, what do we have here? I'm guessing the Dark Lady's Promise is going to be a uh, store? Or an inn? Would make sense. Priestess of Shar. Oh. I have little to say to you. No, this is a temple. Orana Driron and High Priestess to Velisha. You guys coming? Let's see. Orana Driron. Be welcome in the temple of the mistress of the night, man. I am Orwana Dreeran, servant of Shar and monk of the Dark Moon. You're a member of the Order of the Dark Moon? Why, yes, I am. I represent the Order in Westgate, and I aid High Priestess Felicia in prayers to the Dark Lady and in maintenance of our temple. Tell me about Shar. The Dark Lady sees all that happens in shadows and darkness, man. And as each and every one of us has some hint of darkness in our hearts, the Lady of Loss is mistress to us all. None can escape her unwavering gaze. We can hide nothing from the Dark Lady. Not even in the face of blinding light? Of course, there is no reason to try to hide anything from the Mistress of the Night. Once one has realized this, and has opened oneself to her cold, comforting embrace, there is no going back. For the Dark Lady rewards loyalty with power beyond imagination. Tell me of the Shadow Weave. The Dark Lady's Weave is the only true source of power. Servants of Mistra are restricted by their goddess, for Mistra has established limitations on the bounds of magic. Followers of the Dark Lady are subject to no such limitations. Farewell, then. May the Dark Lady bless you, man. Okay, the High Priestess Felicia. Ah, a new visitor comes to our temple. What secrets shall you offer up to the Dark Lady, I wonder? Uh, I want to ask some questions. Then you have come to the wrong place. Shard does not share her secrets freely. No. You must look elsewhere for your answers. Alright, show me what temple goods are available. Okay, Monk at Char's Embrace. The priestesses of Char create a variety of items designed to allow their followers to more fully embrace the powers of the Mistress of the Night. Dark Vision and Darkness. Okay. A couple scrolls and potions, including potions of heal. A couple rings. And a couple items there. Nothing we need. Doesn't look like there's anything else in here, so I think we can leave. Okay. I think that's everything here.
Not really that much in Undergate, is there? I expected at least another quest, but apparently not. So we got three portals here. One goes to the Market Triangle, one goes to the Arena District, and one goes to the Harbor Loop. Well, we know where the, uh... We know where the Arena District one goes to. Where does the Market Triangle one come out? I'm curious. I just want to see where it goes. Exit to the Market Triangle. Just curious. Just takes us right into the middle and there's no way back down. Slicker. Oh yeah, this is that guy. Spare a coin, friend? Eh? Huh? What do you want, adventurer? You'll give away my hiding spot. Can't you just leave poor Slicker alone? Unless you want to give me gold, that is. I've investigated the disturbance and taken care of everything, Slicker. You needn't worry about any more rogue explosions. Pfft, you adventurers are crazy. Why would you ever go into a place like that? She should get me a gold piece just for having to listen to you brag. Okay, then. Let's get out of here. Don't really have any other quests. Oh, we need to go to the Warrens. Let's head in there. You hear someone whispering nearby, but see nothing. Actually, let's come in on this side. Maybe we'll stumble past something else happening. Dock worker have anything to say? Return to Ice Old Jack again, have ye? Hello again, Master Salty. Say, you wouldn't happen to. Uh, no, sorry. Avast, avast! Blast and avast! Blast, blast, blast! Calm down, Jack. What is the matter? What kind of ruddy question is that? We sprung a leak, that's what. That's what's wrong, ya bloody barnacle. Avast, avast! We're sinking fast! What do you mean, a leak? A leak! Westgate sprung a leak, you blasted man! I need help, and quick! Quag and me, we can't hold on much longer! How can I help? Well, the leak sprung through a hole in the hull when we struck up against yon reef. Tis a small hole, but we must plug it and fast. The leak, tis about the size of... of... A gold piece! Aye, that's it! Quick, man, a gold piece! Fine, here you go. He snatches the gold piece from your outstretched hand and shoves it in a pocket deep within his layers of rags. God's bless ye, man. God's bless ye. You've saved us. You're very, you're very welcome. Yeah, I know you've saved us, but we, you wouldn't happen to have another, would ye? To protect against any future leaks. Just a precaution, eh? Sorry, I haven't any gold to spare. You sure? I can really use a hand, matey. Quag here's got a stomach bug that he needs tending to, but I ain't got the gold to see a cleric. Sorry, Salty, I really can't help you. Ah, but uh, it's been rather cold lately, and I've been thinking I could really be using a new set of rags. Wouldn't want to be freezing any. No, Salty, I can't spare any gold. Of course, of course, Salty understands he does. He adventurer types are all the same, they are. Yeah, 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 go on, Salty, get out of here. Okay. Grievel. Well, this obviously leads to the Warrens. Who's this Grievel? Oh, little old Grievel a coin, kind sir. I ain't eaten in days. Except for that tabby I found in the gutter. And that had been dead a week. 
pickings in the warren's been scarcer than usual. A man's gotta take what he can get. Here's ten gold. You need it more than I do. By Tamora! Thank you kindly, my lord. These coins be enough to keep a dozen of us eaten for a month or more. If only the warrens were safe again, I'd bring him some food straight away. Tell me about the warrens. Ain't much nice to say about them in the best of times. Folk in the warrens are the lowest of the low. We got our pl pride. A few of us, that is. Not a lot else. The warrens have always been dangerous, like, but recently they've grown a whole lot worse. Bodies started appearing. Big teeth marks in them. I swear I saw a huge pair of eyes watching me just last night. Old Grievel tried to tell the watch, but they ain't interested. It's the Warrens. We're the scum on the west gate's stinking underbelly. I'd like to investigate the Warrens. Aye? It ain't safe in there, but old Grievel reckons maybe you, you can look after yourself. Maybe you can help take care of these beasties or whatever they are. Let me know when you're ready. Alright, let me just save first. We got ten minutes, we can certainly give it a stop. There ain't no point in hanging around. I got me boots warmed up, lad. Grievel's toes will lead the way. What's that? Your toes will lead the way? Aye. You've probably noticed that old Grievel's eyes ain't the best in shape. Luckily, me boots are so worn I can feel the streets with my feet. A bit of sludge there. Must be Dagger Alley. Some thick ooze smelling like decomposed onion. Spittle Lane. That ain't the best of it, mind. Sometimes you get some real treats stuck to, stuck to the sludge between your toes. Edible treats, like. Bits of onion, carrot, maybe even some pie if you got real lucky. Feels right off. Stole it all together and it's a real feast. I think I'm gonna be sick. I agree, we'll get some message. Is that some such I can feel? Oh. Follow Grievel into the Warrens. You lying cur! Trying to play me for a fool, were you? The real agent appeared just after you left. I can't take the risk of you reporting me to the authorities, so you're going to die here. Then you're even more of a fool than I thought. I might be a fool, but I'd rather be a live fool than a dead one. They'll never find your body in the warrens. Die! Huh? What's that noise? No. It can't be. Not here! Ah! Sergeant Wickers is running off. What the hell is going on? No oh dear. Get out of the darkness, please. Reflexes, give them to you. Evil no, beware. not you. I am in charge now. Oh, you have the Mamos family crest. I didn't realize. If you need something Evil looted, beware. I'm your one. I am in charge now. My steel shall lead the way. Follow me. Okay. Now. Direct me. Yes. What is it? That's all stuff we'll sell. Okay. So, I have no idea where he ran off to or what just happened. Let's take a look this way. How about that? No, this leads to a dead end. Try the other way then. He did seem to run off in that direction. to a dead end with nothing in it. Warrens really don't have anything here, do they? Oh, 
Oh, there we are. Shadow Mask. All things. And terrified. That's bad. Do remove the terror. You guys you guys can do something here, I think. You'll be begging for death before I'm done with you. Are you still terrified? Hey, no, you're not. Just in time for the combat to be done. Anything else back here? Whoa! Shadow Wolf! Came out of nowhere. And it's sparkling. Come on, kill the thing. Oh boy. Okay, there's Char Sergeant Wickers. I think maybe the Shadow Wolf killed him. Charissa, do kill the thing. Just smack it, it's almost dead. Sure, I'll take that. <laughs> you cut that overgrown puppy to size, down to size, didn't you? Reveal, what's going on? What the? I guess your name isn't really Graville. You'll do. talking about. I can't be sure, Alameth, but that monster, it recognized me. I knew a wolf like it many years ago, although the creature we fought was like a twisted mockery. Malthus was the steadfast companion of my Tasheni. It couldn't be the same, though, could it? Malthus went missing shortly before my beloved. That wolf was ancient and wise, a wonder of nature, not the savage creature of darkness that we slew. I need to think about what this means, Alameth. Huh. Very curious. Well, anything here on Sergeant Wickers? Longsword, cloak, torch, and a gold piece. Okay, plus two longsword. I'd actually very much like that. Cloak protection plus two. Also pretty good. If you need good. something looted, I'm your woman. You've yes. got plus yes. one. What is that? You could actually use it, I think. My steel shall lead the way. Yes. What is it? Torch, actually. Oh wait, we already got one. Sorry. You hold on. If to the you torch. need something looted, I'm your woman. Certain. Okay. Well, there isn't really anything else back here. I guess we can leave. It seemed to lead to a dead end. Well, we're. Gonna, I guess it says we're supposed to report these events to Obit, so I guess we shall. Uh, let's give another rest, just so that we're full up. Alright, let's get back out of here, then. And we're at about the end of the episode. Exit. Teeds, you and I are going to have a talk soon. So I'm curious. Right, moving on. Ahoy, matey. So you've returned to wise old Jack again, have ye? Actually, I must be going. Eh, hey, wait a jiffy, matey. You wouldn't happen to have any spare change, would ye? It's been a bit slow in the job development department, you know. No. No, I'm sorry. Ah. <sighs> We'll just teleport over to, uh, to the temple, and then save. In fact, that's what I'm going to do, because this episode has gone on about long enough. So, next episode, we'll report in on what we saw. It wasn't much, but I guess it was something. 
And then we'll see what we're going to be doing next. But that'll be in the next episode. So until then, I am Chesterk44. That is, uh... God damn it, blanking on the name. Alawith Narakan, Renara, Mantids, and Charissa Mamos. This has been a Let's Play of Neverwinter Nights 2, Mysteries of Westgate. And I shall see you all next time.